How many niggas you know got the studio and the wheel? Niggas know what it is, man. Know what it is, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love, OIP to them untamed gorillas. I don't swag. Keep it swag, nigga. Tell me who is real. Who is real? I ain't gon' cap swag. I could've kept it trailer. No cap. I ain't gon' lie, nigga. You got me in my feelings. I really know. OIP to them untamed gorillas. Oh, God. Keep it swag, nigga. Tell me who is real. Who is real? I should've kept it triller. No cap. I ain't gon' lie, nigga. You got me in my feelings. Up. Take it back to like 06. No cap. When the swag was on go shit. Look, really no, we really, really, really wasn't on shit. But watch how you approach shit. And we'll take your bitch. Look, then we fell out by my old bitch. That's crazy. That's to crazy. be told it was some whole shit. We had that heart to heart, we know this We was young, not moving as one But that's some old shit, old shit. Let me swag, nigga, let me get this off Let me get this off I would be lying if I ain't miss my dog I'm so mad, I gotta write this song I wouldn't be crying if I ain't fuck with y'all Look, free P.A.T. hope I don't miss this call Look, oh, I big yeah, that's my fucking dog Look, oh, I pee, Nick, I'm taking this shit hard Look, I wrote this song cause I'm stuck with y'all Look, oh, I pee to them untamed gorillas Keep it swag, nigga, tell me who is real I ain't gon' cap swag, I couldn't kept it triller I ain't gon' lie, nigga, you got me in my feelings I really don't to them untamed gorillas oh God. Keep it swag, nigga Tell me who was real I ain't gon' cap swag I should've kept it triller No cap I ain't gon' lie, nigga You got me in my feelings I really do How many niggas you know Got the studio in the wheel?
Pull up season. <laughs> the wait is almost over. Pull up to the spot looking fresher than I used to be. I bitches getting mad cause when I cut they become history. Yeah, she history. Yeah, she history. These bitches getting mad cause when I cut they become history. Pull up to the spot looking fresher than I used to be. I bitches getting mad cause when I cut they become history.
We was all fucked up, man. So y'all got a whole hour of not listening to shit we was talking about. It was good too. All right, we back. Oh, that's some bullshit, man. Ah. Oh, so we got a whole fucking hour. All right, so we're just going to tell people to click on the pull-up link when we played the break song. Okay. And then they can hear what we was talking about. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, well. Anyway, let's keep it pushing, man. We still, we still on a good topic. That's why I'm like, let's break in the middle of it. All you right. Let's, what, what, let's go back. Let's go back to what the... Uh... I don't want to go back, man. What, what? <laughs> nah, fuck, fuck that, man. Come on. Hey, got, thank you, thank you. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I apologize, people. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We gotta give him. We gotta give him the the good question. The question we was talking about. Uh, you're at the table speaking for Black America. What are the top three things you're asking for, man? We talked about a lot, bro. Man, good uh, stuff. Too. I'm not finna do that. I'm oh not. I'm God, not it's a wrap. Man. I'm finna give you read, a three read, second answer. Read a, read a couple <laughs> responses, Dre. We got another whole hour and 30 yeah, read, minutes. Read so we, look, we gonna make this next hour and 30 minutes impactful. Impact. You think we should just stop and do a new link since that whole link got a whole hour of blank? I don't know, man. Yeah, you can if you want to. I don't know what you're talking about. Got to resend it out. 
Yeah, I'm a uh I'm gonna do another link. I'm a uh Nah man. Just power through. Power through You don't have to put a comment on there or something so when people go on and they'll see that comment. Like write in a comment like, hey, show don't start till um whatever time. Or I'll just go on there and edit it. Oh yeah, if you can edit it, yeah, you can just wipe all that out. I hour and a half gone. Good hour and a half too. Hey man. Fuck. Fuck, man. We didn't told y'all the facts to life. We didn't told y'all how to get rich. All types <laughs> of shit. And y'all just missed it. Fuck. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> how long has this been happening? I wanted this to happen last week. Because normally we had comments, tipping me. Nah, said, so. man. That's what I'm saying, bro. I ain't even... Man, that's all bad. Tiffany, nah, if nah, you out there, it, comment. It, 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 it didn't. It didn't happen last time because oh, okay. because the, I didn't notice. The, I just noticed that meter wasn't pumping. All right. Okay. 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 Let's move on then, since we can't do a rewind. But what is the most slave concept that's still in play in a lot of states right now, government wise, government money wise? Hmm? The That's most slave concept that is still in the play right now, and right now is when it should be on the forefront of everybody's mind. Women? No, no. It's uh, it's a money thing, and it's enforced by the government, and it's the ultimate slave concept that people just let slip through their fingers. They worried about who the fucks on the syrup bottle and the rice bag, but then we allow this to constantly happen, and it's the most slave shit that you can have. Taxes. I don't know. Huh? Taxes? Exactly. Personal property taxes. <laughs> you realize as long as you pay personal property, you never own anything. That, but see, that's a state thing. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's why I say it's a lot of that's what I say. It's a lot of states it's that still federal. have it. And most of them are the so called states that fought for the union. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> fought for that union against mm-hmm. the Confederacy. Mm-hmm. They the ones that do it, but that's the most slaves you can get. Yeah, we free, but I can't own anything. You know what I, I'm saying? I'd as mind, long as but I'm I paying, still got to pay you. Exactly. As long as I'm paying somebody else for what I have, I don't own it. Because And then what makes it even worse, if you don't pay them, you know what I'm saying, you go on too long without paying, they can take your shit. You could pay $2.5 million cash for, for, for you a mansion. Not, for you not paying them to own your shit. <laughs> they can come take it. And now they shit. <laughs> Do you ever notice why certain people... They got a lot of money. Move. <laughs> well, they they not only move, they have money other places, but they also know they they also don't really they complain about taxes because how much money, but they yeah, know they, they get taxed hard on the income. But they they know they get that back throughout the year because of the the tax breaks and all that. You know, a lot right. of rich people they they don't really buy things; they just lease it because lease it, of that because of the tax rate mm. and and. I think I think a lot of a lot of folks don't complain about it because they they know the the codes. You know what I mean? It's like you're not gonna complain about a game if you know the secret passageway to get to the next level every time. Well, I don't give a damn what rich people want to complain about. <laughs> it's people like it us that's make up that, the majority. That, that's what of I people. mean. It but that's what be a I mean. Level playing field. That's what I mean. It's it's more so we we. The level field is way off balance. That's one of mine. Right Everyone there. should truly have access to the equal and amount. We should have the right to own. And, and right now we don't. <sighs> Unless you want to go to one of the more southern states that people try to call. Where you can system. actually own your own piece of land. Yeah. And build on it what like you Bugs want. Said, you, they can get you land. They like that's okay because if you don't pay us a tag, we gonna take yeah, it right. back. We are gonna take it right back. That was my point. I think a um a, a a minute ago about about what where what well, what show was that? In order to do anything on land, you gotta get somebody's permission. Like that has to. The happen. only time you and I learned this from a gangster. The only time um well in Vegas, I know for sure that if you buy land but then you don't develop it it's 
almost like an investment. Like if you got land in Vegas, yeah, and you just the, let it sit there until somebody comes. You, come, you, you don't have like, to pay taxes hey, on. I want, yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't have to pay taxes that's because what, it's that's, called underdeveloped. I got a friend that yeah. owns. Okay, you know when you cross over to the east side, there's a, a right there by a downtown. There's a little area that. There's, there's, it's just plots where the building's been knocked down. And look like they just took the bricks, like not by Broadway, but kind of, kind of where uh, the old McDonald's where Clint stuff at, mm-hmm. but like farther down, kind of where the projects used to be. Mm-hmm. Like there, there's, there, there, there's a, there's plots with just bricks in them, and he just lets it sit there because he know they trying to do development down there, mm-hmm. and they don't tax them for it for owning it. He just lets it sit there. Yeah. And as soon as they want to come down there and do the development, because you know who's going to buy it? The casino. <laughs> They're going to be the first one to try to purchase that mm-hmm. shit. And you just triple the, triple the price yeah, for, what for whatever it's, it is. It's an investment. But yeah. as soon as you develop it, you got to start paying tax on it, which is also bullshit. Because yeah. they really taxing you twice. You know what I'm saying? And if you make a business on it, three times. Because they're going to tax you for whatever you buy to put on there. Sales tax. They're going to tax the income that you make. Well, you got a business, and then they're gonna tax that, you for having a but property. But that's what I'm saying. Right. But you you got to come to them for the licensing if, if, as if, well. If you're doing, if you're making plays like that, that means you got your contingent contingency plans. Meaning, I'm making this play, but I'm gonna get it back in the back end when I fill out this form because I'm getting a grant because I followed the guidelines for this building, and and it follows this sort and sort. If you know what you're doing. That's why that's why these people be staying rich. They don't be coming out of pocket for shit. Like, yeah, they be getting this, oh man, I'm gonna get licensed for that, but don't worry. I'm I'm gonna pay that with the with the deduction I get for this. You know what I mean? That's man, I you be working in the wife you they be talking to you about stuff like that, bro. Mm. And, and and it 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 be it be so plain and simple to them. We just don't it, we don't have that knowledge it's it's available and a lot of times they don't our schools are not teaching what their that, schools that's what teaching. i'm saying it's available but our curriculum is not set up for that no our set up, our curriculum is set up for our kids to be workers to be in factories yeah. to, to, i already told you i was set it up uh k through 12 but they won't let you do that. That's the problem. So so that's why a lot of stuff get blocked unless you do it privately. Which brings me to my number two <laughs> thing on the list. What? That right there. Re, 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 uh. Yeah, I want, the, I want the right to be able to reform the education system as I see fit. Even if they want to just leave it in my, in my neighborhoods, in my areas, I'll take that. That's, that, I hey, think that's what everybody wants. This is out of context. You know who I think has the best educational system? Europe. Europe. From from K to twelve, they go to school year round. Mm-hmm. You there ain't no summer break. They get one break, I think is a uh, a week long. They do have well, Europe has some of the most uh legendary colleges. Yeah. It, look, they graduate high school, sixteen. They go to a university dot. That's what it's called over there. Mm-hmm. University dot. From uh, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's when they graduate. They, they're grown at 19. And they started drinking beer at 16. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, that's my number two thing. First, get rid of the... Uh, Education reform. Personal property taxes. Two is I need to be allowed to reform the education system with no interference from them. And then three, you want to say something? Yeah, when you when you start taking away personal property taxes, mm-hmm. you're talking about federal guidelines taking away power from the states. That's what I'm saying. When you y'all that. y'all taking away money that y'all we you don't understand how much we really need it, bro. No, we need to redirect the money we already pay. You know how many? Mo- hey, it's, they- it's a lot of extra government officials that are not needed. We just, I need to, I need we, to research just, that before just, I say it. We just don't use our money the right way most of the time. What's your third thing? I, I didn't mean to cut you off. What's your third? Oh, and then my third thing is it kind of go back to uh, what you had said earlier before, uh, before we figured out. You know, the sound was messed up. 
is I'm with you on we need to create a hate crime, but not just as far as people being racist, but I feel like that if you are a police officer or you, you know what I'm what saying? What he's saying earlier, had, I had said that uh, there, there should be a, it, it, what I say? Racism should be a federal crime, mm-hmm. you know, punishable. But that, yeah, that's what I said. Crime. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I feel like it should, all, it should be that along with if you're a police officer and you turn off or at any point in the day, your body cam turns off and it's not a verifiable reason why you should be charged with a federal hate crime as well as lose all protections of law enforcement. Also, if you are determined to have shot anyone and there's not on that body cam clear visual evidence as to why you pulled your firearm, again, hate crime, lose all protections. And then the third leg of that is they have to take out their perceived threat out of the code of conduct. Of the police department. Man, it's the bullshit. Man, look, this is my idea. I I thought of this. I came up with this. And it ain't even my idea when you think about it. <laughs> 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 but look, hey, hey, but you know what I'm saying? You all understand what I'm saying when I say it, bro. Look, listen, check this out. Right now, I don't know. Have you ever been arrested? Yep. Okay. My little brother. Well, yeah, you've been in cuffs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never been arrested, people. <laughs> Drink has been detained. Keep telling your story. More than one occasion. I've been in cuffs. Okay, here's my point. Here's my point. If you take one of your fingers <laughs> and you leave a fingerprint, okay, and I take it and give it to the police, it will tell me who you are because there is a national database. Yeah. Okay. Now and they try to get me uh, black on, people. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, you, you right on that too. <laughs> you right on that too. But listen, a national database. Do you know what that is? A national database. That mm-hmm. means within the continent of the United States and probably some countries outside of the United States. National database. Well, they have all these fingerprints compiled, right? Mm-hmm. So why can't there be, I don't know, a central database for these little cameras that these police officers wear from the time that they clock on? Because when I don't know how police, are, you know, most of my jobs, I got to punch some clock or something mm-hmm. that says I'm on the clock now. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah. Whenever these motherfuckers get on the clock, their camera cuts on, and it doesn't cut off until the end of their shift. You know what I'm saying? And to piggyback off what you said, if at any time it cuts off, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm mad with it, bro. Yeah. And they can't say they can't do it because we have the technology. You, you can't, oh, it could be done. You can't tell me, man. And it should be considering that the taxes that we pay or what pay the police officer, every taxpaying citizen should be able to log in and look at any policeman's camera at any given moment. Any given time. Any given moment. Because they are can, employees of the It can the be in a national database. Yeah, that we have access to. Because we ain't gotten access to the national uh, fingerprint. You know how many thing. zoos are around this country right now? You can go on the internet and pull up cameras and just look at different animals. I right now, know. how are they how are they doing that? Come on, man, you can't bullshit the bullshitter. That's what I'm saying. And if I could, if I could do a fourth thing, or so, quick question. Go I ahead. saw a purple car, uh, a purple cow yesterday. Quick question. Jump off the top of this building. <laughs> Go ahead. <Trey. laughs> Is a police officer or being a police officer? most important job in America one of <laughs> it top, is. top top two top two hold top on. three hold on say, yeah. say it again you're asking a question yeah well, is, for is being a police officer one of the most important is how, what, how does it rank as how does it rank to me in, in importance of 
a in, job in okay. America. And we talking the way it's supposed to be done, right? I don't know. As like is. what they are as, is. as, to as do. a as job. Right, right as a now. job. Well, as a job. Just as a job. Yeah. How it, how important is that job? It's a very important job. They just yeah, it's, I mean, they just filling it with a lot of bad employees. I'm not just talking about who's there. I'm, if okay. you just talking about the job itself, I'm talking yes, about it's, it's, the position of a police officer in ranking of a community. Yes. It's, How it's, high is that position? It's top. It's definitely top five. Yeah, to police that the community fire, is fighter, important. Doctor, them three major things you need. Yeah, and farmers. I, I don't think okay, so how does it rank from like one to five? Like, well, you got to put it. You I'm gotta, trying to get it at. I'm trying to get your tier. You got. Like, you got to put I, it. I, you see, the way we building it, I'm not even putting it in the top five. You know, oh, as really? far as you're not putting it in the top five. Importancy. Okay. I mean, realistic. You're doing what I want you to do. Well, the realistic lee of the job importance to you, like. What what's it rank in your community? See, like it, being a police officer. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna do mine. I'm gonna do mine. Since, okay, number one, number one to me in my in my community, number one to me would be police. Mm-hmm. Okay, number two would be the judge. Number three, probably the doctor or the healthcare, wherever it is in the community. Those would be the three main important things. Because when I'm in trouble, I'm going to seek out one of the three. Okay? All right. So, policing being my number one. No, I could debate that because if well, you... Well, well, policing being... Just listen to what I'm saying. Because it's going to be hard to debate after I say what I'm finna say. Okay? Right. But policing is my number one because Jeez. I agree with y'all just said. They should be watched 24-7. Now, if that's not your number one priority... Then why should they be watched twenty four seven? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is all I'm saying. That I, I said that long statement to back up what you said. So it's funny that you said you can debate that. I still debate it. But I'm it saying it starts you, with the teaching. The teaching of what? The policing? I'm not. Yeah, I understand. Right, I'm just right. talking about the importance of the job. I'm not talking about who does the job. I'm just talking about the importance of the job. Is that important that it should I, be? I watched think it's number one because I think the number one thing in any society is going to be the the discipline of it. You know what I'm saying? How the order of it, not discipline, but the order of the society. If you don't have no order, you're not going to have nothing. Just because the judge, they're the judge before you see the judge. You know what I mean? Like I cannot make it home by me and your interaction today. I might not be able to go see my day in court because of you. More than likely, without that camera, a part of that officer's testimony is fabricated. Oh, yeah. It's always fabricated. They're always the victim. I was scared for my life. That's why I said and you got to you got to take out the camera is for. Yeah. You got to take out That's what the camera is for. Because there would be less <laughs> look. They're literally trained to say that in all their dialogues unless you fear for your life. Everything. Unless you fear for your life. Yeah. Lethal force unless you were <laughs> you they they're like they it, ask you guided it, questions. It, it's in Did you fear for your life? Your training <laughs> like are you fearing for your life? Were you scared? And that's why I said, that's why you got to take that perceived part out of it. When when I read that, either uh, real or perceived, that's just a license to kill. You can perceive whatever the fuck you want to perceive. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Any time uh, they can say, that that right there in your hand, a gun. you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's, that's, a, that's a, butt a, yeah, that's a butt of a gun. Yeah, that's a butt of a gun, grenade, anything. Uh, when he put that spoon in his pocket, I thought he was reaching for a gun. There's two cops in America. Perception. There's a cop for white people. There's a cop for black people. What about Mexican? They're black. Okay, let me. Let me when I say black, I mean all us minorities. <laughs> okay, I'm talking about all us. I know. <laughs> well, well, that that goes. That's just like what we say about stat taking. 
it's perceived by the viewer. So if if yeah, if my if my perception is, hey, that's an assist. We, we we was breaking okay. this down the other like, like what's an assist? Because you know an assist is not just what what's a basketball assist. What is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, what would be considered? What, assist? What's considered assist? Like when you when I pass you the ball, what move? Like how many moves, steps, do anything get, do you get before it becomes just your? No, they, they uh, have uh, a rule. Well, they have a rule. Yeah, yeah, I'm about. I don't know it verbatim, but, but I know that it's in in a uh, in the motion of a shot or something well, we, to that nature. They, they looked it up. The, the, in, they, in there's the, a rule. There's a rule. There's yeah. they, there's more multiple rules because I posted it into the group and it, it it blew up. Matter of fact, I should go to it if I can find it. But it blew up. It got, it got like ninety. Or, it got like ninety comments, bro. In 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 in, in, uh, in set up in, in, two, in, the, in, the NBA, in the NBA when you pass the ball, if they score based on the person taking the stats, they're going to determine if that is an assist for you or just a bucket for them. Yeah. yeah. That, that's what it is. So I can give you the ball at the three. I used to think it was based on how many seconds yeah, they I, had Yeah, I thought the it was ball. seconds it's or two, steps. I thought it was seconds or steps. They, they were saying it's two seconds. Some people said it was three seconds. So it, it was it was, it it was back sco- and forth. No, no, three seconds. And then some people said it's two dribbles. It's two dribbles to the basket. And they got two dribbles to the basket. If they don't score within the two dribbles, then it's not an assist for you. It's just a bucket for them. Mm. Yeah. But the definition is the NBA statisticians manual says an assist should be credited to a player tossing the last pass leading directly to a field goal. Only if the player scoring the goal responds by demonstrating immediate reaction to the basket. It sounds simple, but it's not. So if I give you like what Giannis did. Even though he caught the ball at the three, and took you know took all them steps and stuff, that nah, would be still considered that, an assist because it led directly. That was the last pass leading directly to a basket. Well, he was yeah he was in motion. He was in motion when he got the ball, and, that, and that's a lot. But like you was finna say, oh, I don't know about that. it's a lot of that that goes. Well, on. I had to think about yeah, how that, he but saw. that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of that that goes on where it's like it, would that really be it? But it's the last pass. Leading to a bucket, so it's like I can't pass it to Drake. Drake pass to you in the score. If I give but it to see, him look, look, and he look. get a bucket, if you pass to me at the top of the key, and I jab, spin around backwards, and go to the bucket, that's an assist. It uh, shouldn't be. I know it, what you're saying, but yeah. th- that that's what they saying. The assist is the last pass leading directly to the bucket. No to matter what bucket. you do to get the bucket. Yeah, the yeah. last pass leading to that bucket came from me, so that's my assist. It's uh-huh. it's, it's viewed by the by the, the statistician, statistician. Yeah. like like whatever he feels. Mm-hmm. Drake was like, "Well, goddamn it, damn it, right, so John Stockton assist is fraud." That's what I'm. That's <laughs> he, that's, he been, that's saying. This is ever my bottom since we line looked it up, it. he been my, saying this that. This is my bottom line too. No, that's the reason why I was questioning. So I posted in a group. I said, "Me and my assistant coach were discussing what's an assist and what's not." Because sometimes, sometimes they'll give a star player an assist after the player receives the ball and still makes a move to get the bucket. Is the assist a stat? Op, is the assist a stat? Uh, option stat? Uh, so does that mean a lot of John Stockton assists were actually good moves by Carl Malone? You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it could have been Carl Malone posted up. Give me the ball. John Stockton, he do a little gives shimmy, him the shake, ball. up and he under, hits him, <laughs> shimmy, boom, boom, hits him with a little uh, mailman uh, delivered. <laughs> they give Stockton assists. That's why he has the most assists in the NBA. He has he's, he's he has the record, and that's why Malone and, is the second most in scoring points of all time behind Kareem. And then who else on the list? Magic, who who was. Uh, what to do? Who got the most points? Most points <laughs> on the damn thing. You know what I mean? So, it, are their points correlated to? They just gave him an assist just because he gave him the ball. And we all seen Malone play. Malone was not just a okay, catch the ball and then let me get throw it. No, throw that's it in the why I say I always thought it was uh, based on the amount of time because. No, they don't even say nothing I, about I, the I, amount I, of time I, in the rule. So, so somebody, it, it, it kind of trip you out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So so somebody came back and said, uh, 
Carl Malone never really had to dribble on a Stockton to Malone assist, but a dribble still assist two dribbles in scoring assists. Only, only when Rodman played him. Yeah. And then uh, somebody said a lot of case. Wait, wait, wait. You get two dribbles. Anything more is no longer uh, assist. A lot of people are saying two dribbles. This guy said it's subject based on whoever's keeping stats. I yep. believe the rule of thumb is is did the pass directly lead to the score? And see, and that's where that, it gets that's fuzzy. what I thought. That's what I thought. It, okay, what if the two dribbles is you know a crossover, then a little hezzy, and then I take two steps to the basket? You know what I'm saying? It's two dribbles, but I done did two moves. Yeah, and then what <laughs> what I what I replied to him, I was like, yeah, I used to think. Bro, shoot when I pass. Don't mess up, or you fucking up my assist. Yeah. Now it's like if you, you get it, you, yeah, you got you, it, and you gone. Just hey, you better hit that motherfucker straight up. Like hey, make my shot, man. Bruh. Fuck, bro. I you sure get mad, assist. man. But then when I read, it, I'm like, well, shit. Hey, hey go ahead, that assist. Do I what you want, yeah. man. Just score. <laughs> I pass, that assist. Hey, I should have got. I pass that to him. <laughs> Give me my. Hey, put my assist down. <laughs> That is that's that's crazy. Yeah, that's that, that's that loosey goosey, man. That's how it be, man. That's how that's how the world is, especially when that's you want to make somebody goosey. great and you need something great. Like you, you got to understand, greatness motivates the next generation. So if we had a whole generation where nothing came out great, you would have a whole fucked up generation. They got to make one one thing out of that generation be like, see, this was y'all had. Y'all can be like this. Mm-hmm. Hey, it, it, you need, because you, you want to, I think the powers to be, they want to fuck things up enough to where they can still control it, and it's enough chaos. Just enough chaos to where it's providing them some funds for the chaos, and it's not hurting the money that they need for the for the things to run in order. You know what I mean? Like like the like 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 the owner of of uh, uh, Dollar Generals, like the CEO of Dollar General, he has shares in prisons, but he makes his Dollar General so easy to steal out of. You know what I mean? He said, I'm, I'm going to get it either way. That's what it is. You yeah. can buy it or if you steal it, steal you want it. I'm getting some money off of you going to prison. Either way. You feel me? Like, like Michael Jordan. You make these shoes so expensive to pe- where people want to kill and steal for them. And then you got stocks in prison. Michael Jordan, ah! stop saying that. Ah! He dealt with some people that ah! had... Stock in prison. That's he how you hide your nev- money, bro. He That's has how you, never. We just talked about that. That's how you hide your money. Hey, hey, just Jordan, just sign a check. You don't know what it's for, bro. Just sign it. You don't know what it's for. Just between me and you, you don't know what it's for, but just know you finna make triple. You finna make triple off of what you just gave me, bro. Hey, you took the chance. Jordan, like, yeah, go ahead, bro. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Give me that money real quick. <laughs> Give me that money real quick, Jordan. Jordan, happy. Hey, it ain't, it ain't no different than Come on, you know man. what I'm saying. LeBron it, and Jordan. you're not smart if you're not investing in the negatives and the positive. That's why anybody invests in Nike. That's, that's what they're about. You invest in Nike. Don't tell me you you all about people being free and things being right. Well, everybody know about them. Fifteen uh, percent on every shoe. Or did I see that wrong? Is it five percent on every shoe he getting? Who? Jordan. No, he get way. No, more he get more than that. Anyway, yeah, I just seen some saying he getting fifteen percent. If anybody gets fifteen, Nike the Nike one getting fifteen. Enjoying it more. Than hey, that. you, bug, you know you in control when I start out working for you under your symbol, and then I get so big, I pull your shit off the product. <laughs> That's when you know you done took something over. I done took your yeah, shit off the product. Yeah, yeah, yeah take it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And no Nike signs on Jordan no more. And when you think Nike, you don't even think Jordan. You just think Jordan well, is Jordan. Actually, actually, there is a Nike sign on every Jordan. No, no more. They didn't took them off. Even the old retro, they didn't took them off. Well, some of the it retro, is. they it, leave it because it's on a, it's on a tag. It's a, it's somewhere. Oh yeah, you. 
I gotta see. It's he done a good ass job of taking that Nike. I mean, you got other players that try There's to do other no stuff. There's no visible Nike. Like, like Giannis, he tried to reverse the Nike sign. So that, it, that's his little shit. He it, reversed the Nike sign. It depends right on what. On the heel, it so depends on what shoe it is because some of his shoes don't have Nike symbol on there at all. Yeah, but then some he but gotta some have it. Say, like the ones you gotta have a Nike. Symbol. Yeah, the ones that's classic and traditional for like the Nike Air on there. Mm. He keeps them on there, but like. Like, like, well, actually, he, 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 he actually started he using air. He actually started using air instead of using Nike. Like back when they first came out, it would say Nike, and now it say Air across it. Now, in certain shoes like the Jordan ones, you gotta have a Nike sign. They not Jordan ones without the Nike sign. Like the, uh-huh. it's impossible to have a a Nike a Jordan one without the Nike sign. It's not even a Jordan one no uh, more. To point. me, the original Jordan with the mesh side. You know what I'm saying? The little ankle strap coming up. The, the red, the red. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Them the ones, them the ones. Yeah, yeah. To me, yeah, you th- gotta have them, Nike on them. Them are Jordans. Yeah, you gotta have Nike. Everything on them. else is. <laughs> oh, you like the ones, and that's it for you, huh? Yeah. But now that's what I want to use back then. Was it really oh, as big wait, wait, as on. it was, man? I didn't know this. What? What? We always try to get Jordan so much kudos. Nike, Jordan don't own, I mean, Nike still owns Jordan. What, the Jumpman? No, they still owe the Jordan brand. Nike still owns Jordan brand, but Michael Jordan gets a percentage of the revenue. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I saw some shit like that. I didn't, I, I thought he owned it all right. He's still getting percentages. I saw something say he get 15% on every shoe sold. And Nike period. What what I'm mm-hmm. what I'm saying is saying he only get twelve. But is it on every shoe, every Nike shoe? No, Mike. Every Michael Jordan. Jo- my, every my, Jordan. Michael Jordan gets close to ten percent of the revenue from his Jordan brand. In 2019, he took a uh an estimated of 130 million. So he only get ten percent. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that Nike's still making bank off of it. But I wonder, is that is that gross or profit? That's all profit. When you already made your I'm he saying, made if, all that if, back the if, first if five if years. It's, if it's profit, then <laughs> everything you know is what profit. I'm he's straight. Every, that mean he, that bro, mean he don't he ain't everything gotta, is profit. When you establish yourself after how long has Jordan's been? 30 years. 30 80, years. And, you, and all you're doing is remaking the same shoes. You got the same material you got in the warehouse. <laughs> he ain't switching nothing up. When they fire the creators, they bring back the retros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they fired all the creators. They just, they just keep bringing. Man, just bring back the other ones. Just put red at the top, black on the side. <laughs> $280. Ain't never going for no. <laughs> Like, it's genius, man. It's genius. Speaking of that genius, that goes in sex ways into this next question. Because we all are a victim of it. Man. Hold on. I'm finna say it, y'all. I just gotta go back. Uh, all right. Is instant instant gratification destroying what our youth consider important? Is this what's wrong with the adults now? Your thoughts. Yep. You get people doing the stupidest things that they can think of all for some clout, some likes, and some subscriptions. I mean, shit, where you be like, where... I'm, I'm sorry, man. I was, can you read that one, one more game for me? Is instant gratification destroying what our youth consider important? First question. Meaning, stuff that, 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 that should, shouldn't be important, they hold all high and mighty. Just so they can look important and want instant, instant feedback and love for. So, like, 
I've done it before on social media. Ate something, thought it looked good. Took a picture of it. You know. <clears throat> and sent it out. Hitler. Hitler. Mm-hmm. He had an idea for creating the master race. And he actually took part in the breeding. You know, he would actually pair people to breed in the dope. You know, he was trying to create the master race. Mm-hmm. In America, they do things a little different. In other words, to say that it is. My person believes, bro. Well, you gotta I finish think. your point. You just, you just, uh, bro. That, that is, I, I, I did, I did, I did. ninety nine on the <laughs> elevator. We went all the way up. It's a hundred floors, right? We all the way up ninety eight, ninety nine. Then right at the, and yeah, let's go back down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I realized I, I, I really didn't want to go there because I, I don't want to shit on my country like that. But we ain't perfect, man. Far from it. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, and but it ain't just this country though, because other countries they they get the bug and they have it worse. They they kill in front of their cameras. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They they cut off heads and mm-hmm. and set people on fire alive and and shit like that just so American people can watch it. Huh. I'll get I was <laughs> waiting on you to shut up so I can say so we can pull it up on YouTube yeah, or some so shit. That shit crazy. Instant world gratification. Star. It's <laughs> fucking up the world. Oh, man. Yeah. It, it it really is. Instant gratification and the the this ridiculous need to try to feel like that everything should be accepted and acceptable. Like right now, other than being a damn pedophile and an out and out murderer what really do people what can you do in society that's not some horrible actual crime where people say you know what that's not okay, okay. like at this point what that's is it it's not no none you can dress however you want motherfucker come out like damn near everything out but they just trying to be sexy and own their sexuality men come out with all type of old nonsense the tightest pants you ever want it's like bro what, what the yeah. heck the best way, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. So, so that's a, so what you're saying, defining is, uh, it's a thin line between instant gratification and being comfortable in your own skin. Who's to say they're trying to get your attention? Who's to say they're not just being themselves? No, I'm, I'm not saying that they they're not trying to be themselves, but they're trying to get my attention. I was saying that the instant gratification is a problem along with. This society's over need to try to tell everybody just do whatever you want to do. To try no is is more about no, no. trying to impress or be better than. So what? No, what I'm trying uh, to say, I I'm not trying to say my point of view or nothing like that. I'm just you know how I like to ask the questions. Okay, what will be the line between instant gratification and being comfortable? So like, let's say keeping it off any, let, well, any type well, of social media. So oh. Good. That, that's good. That's Balance. good. Taking pictures. So, so even if, so what if you never seen them on social media and they just walk out to the world? Lizard man. Say he never, nobody ever took pictures of, I mean, he never tried to go on the news or nothing and he decided to do whatever the, he, he wanted he, to he, say. He just, he just being who he is. But once you try okay. to put it out okay, there because cool. you want the public to consume it, which is okay. all social media is, that's anybody that, that's yeah, anybody that says yeah. that, Oh, I'm just doing this for me. That's bullshit. When you first take the picture and you have it, that's for you. When you put it out there on social media, it's for everybody else to see. So you can look at the comments and say, hmm, do they like this? Or how many likes I'm getting? How many loves I get? How many shares I get? Uh, that, that's what it's for. So, 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 a, also, so you, female, think, you think, oh, go ahead, bro. When a female, she gets dressed up. She gets dressed up. Mm-hmm. She stands in front of the mirror. She takes that picture. Mm-hmm. We all know the one. She looking back. Yeah. That left leg cocked back. As, you know what I'm saying? What's she taking that picture for? Instant gratification. That, like she, said, she instantly want people if to If it stay on her phone, it's for her. 
Once they hit social media, that's okay. the line. When you ask me about the line, that's the line to me. Now, now, all right. So, what's the line between sharing uh, sh- her that same girl shares a picture on that same social media platform that all her friends are and family are on a picture with her and her kids? Is same, that, same that, thing. That's still instant gratification. Yeah, mm-hmm. same thing. What, yeah, they love to try to make like they mom money. Y'all know dudes that barely ever see their kids. But when you see them post with their kids, they doing some some activity. Oh my god! Well, okay, okay. Oh, my this, my okay. That. but that's that's diagnosing. That's diagnosing yeah. they 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 background. Yeah, that but see that leads to where I was gonna say with my answer that instant gratification can be anything. You know, yeah, it, whatever it is. Gratif- it, what gives you gratification may not be what gives me gratification. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why when I started the segment off, first thing I said was we're all. Guilty of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're yeah. all guilty. It's just of some it. people are not willing to own it. They be like, "Oh no, no, I'm not doing that for that. I'm doing this for I, me." Hey, I don't post live videos, but I posted a few last week of me working up under these damn trucks, putting steps on the shit. The motherfucker step on to climb up in the mm-hmm. trucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, instant gratification because I'm doing something new that I never used to do, and I'm doing and it. You like, oh man, you getting it? You got and a new skill? Sure, hey. hey. Good mm-hmm. shit, bro. Family hey. members yeah. like this, Sean. What you doing? You all right? I see. You. Yeah. And it's it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying something wrong with that to an extent. Well, you know what I'm saying? But like you said, it is well, going to ruin it for these. There kids. is something wrong with it. It can get addictive, and it yeah. can be that. That's it, where that's where the wrong comes in. That's why I said that's where the wrong comes in. Well, okay, so that that don't necessarily make it wrong. If if it becomes addictive, right? And you start generating money off of it. Is that wrong? No, that's not. That's not wrong. So that's what I'm saying. So, so but that, that's the, one. That's one facet of being addictive, though. That's the good facet of being addictive. What if everything you do now is all geared towards bro, trying to get likes, trying to get shares? But, but that's that's that, wrong. That's what some people do, though. Even though they're making okay. money, I say it like even this. though they're making money, they're still like. Oh no no that that's not my angle you can't shoot me or stuff Listen, like that they still do that it, as long as it's within your moral compass mm. given your moral compass or within reason of the standard of being moral does that make sense say that one more time as long as it's within their moral compass given that their moral compass is Within the standards of social standards, you, you know mean, what I'm saying. I mean, if they believe in the laws and the land. yeah, 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 yeah. man. Every function in society, good function in society, is going to have certain beliefs, certain values that they hold true because that's what keep that's what brings it together. The problem with us, why shit is so dysfunctional, there is no baseline group of things you can look at and say okay here's some things we all agree on and move forward from there and that's why we all that's why it, it's so much being into it. it's no common ground no more there will never be common ground man when you have a multiple of, of i don't think with human beings there is ever we all have the power to think and we all have the power to think what the fuck we want to think and believe what the fuck we want to believe. We choose. Not, not in all countries. <laughs> yeah, in them countries you can probably get killed as soon as you believe something else. But, yeah, that and that's the beauty of America. We have that freedom mind of thought. And a lot of countries are trying to get that way. Well, for America's sake. Be fucked up too. We have that power, right? But this, the thing about it is, because of our human nature... That power will never in sync with the masses. It will never be a common. Nothing will ever be a common thought. We can't even be common about thou shall not kill. And well, that's people have different definitions. Of that's see, see, that's what I'm what, saying. That what people get is. into that. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we can't even agree on having sex with a baby. 
People say, well, people got their own religions and their own definitions. I don't know about say, that. The, 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 the masses hey, hey, agree on. about something. Now, you got hey. some factions no, hey, bro. that be on some I'm, other shit, that's but that's a small I'm, group hey, compared hey, to the see, people that know that that's you, wrong. You strongly bro. disagree with that, as I do, too. I saw some shit, man. You you said that. And bro, I, I think we can knock on everybody's door in, in North County and 97% no, no, of them is going to be like... There's going to be some that might shut the door on you quick and say... They why, found why, us. Why you asking me that they question? They found bro? us. <laughs> no, man. Uh, I saw, I heard, hey, man. It fucked me up in the head, man. There's legislation somewhere. To where you can do it. Legal, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. And, and it, it fucked me, it fucked me in up in the head, countries, man. some countries, you can marry. At 15. Uh, no, no, 12. 12 or 13. You can marry and at that some, age. And in some religions where you don't become a man until you have sex with a man. Man, that's what I'm saying. No, that, that, you, I'm just saying made, no. you just made that shit up. Bro, I don't I don't know nothing about that. But 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 you you proving more points to where everybody had their own way of doing things. So the common thought, bro, that can't be a, a conclusion to All anything. That cannot be a solution. There there's not gonna be any common thoughts. I mean all my nieces, my granddaughter. I mean, all of their lives today, 20, 21, got that 25. God damn it, ain't nothing. <laughs> the fuck, man? That's what I'm saying, man. Like, there there can't be no common grounds. All, all there can be is 51% said this, 49 said this. All right, we got to go with 50. <laughs> 51. <laughs> it's going to always be a divided situation. We can't even agree on not Bro. killing, All not I say stealing. Is this. Look, my generation, motherfuckers my age, my age group, yeah. most of us, the ones that didn't get fucked up on crack cocaine and shit, <laughs> real shit. It's a lot of them. We out here. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real shit. Real shit. Look, the rest of us, we out here thriving. You know why? Because as kids growing up, we had parents and neighborhoods that, that you would call tribes, in quotation. We had tribes that kept us in line. You know what I'm saying? So when we matured, we had the common fucking sense to try and do right. Mm-hmm. Versus what the government did is figure out, well, shit, if we take the kids from the parents and we raise them, then we can have it the way we want it. Take the daddy from the mama, cause havoc. Now the kids don't trust nobody, but they trust the government that's giving them the food. <laughs> We got them. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's <laughs> so that's what they do. They send a the teacher in there. Tell Miss Johnson what happened at home. Are they feeding you? The first thing. Are they, they treating you good? Look, I don't know if you remember it. They start sending PSAs. You know, and look the, on the uh, little children's networks, teaching them how to. If your parents do this to you, if they whoop pick you, up the phone. Call abuse. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, man, it's fuck fucked that. up, man. Anyway, man, let's keep moving, man. Y- y'all finna get... I was in a good mood. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, that's real shit, man. It pisses me off. Well, the question was... Uh, and then they turn around and talk about... The, well, they, 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 they're they so bad. They're so evil. In, they're doing all... Instant gratification. Yeah. So it's destroying what our youth consider important. Because they don't consider shit important no more. Like man. the priorities of kids, shit, my man, the priorities of kid, people my age, is crazy. My priorities sometimes, just some of the things that I put first, I question sometimes. <laughs> Human beings' priorities questions me. Like, okay, as a country, what should be the first priority? You said what? What's, what should be the first co- priority as you know, a country? That, that, that's a broad question, man. As, right? as America, what should be America's first yeah. priority? Okay. We, you, naturally, you say the people, but then 
What do you mean by the people? Okay, the health of the people, the wealth of the people, the care of the people. I mean, if it's the, the, the people, the, all that, the yeah. ability of the people to thrive. So the you people is the main yeah. priority, right? Yeah, but, but our country puts wealth. war. No, wealth. War and wealth. Yeah, wealth, war leads to wealth. But they put money before the people. That's that's yeah. the problem. It's a capitalist country. That's the problem. That's the problem. Because we will never have any change if that is the first priority of this country. Oh, man, I, that's, why, man, I, that's why I talk all the time so much, so highly of Germany, you know, during the time of my adolescence, when I, cause I grew up in Europe, but man, look, but they, Europe, Europe was looked on as a poor country coming up. They come. They were, man, they were no. so rich in, in just living, man. Europe, Europe was at one point, one of the most powerful continents on the planet. Yeah, they had some fucked up leaders. It, 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 and they had war in in itself inside the continent. Different countries started having war with each other. Germany going against them, them they going against Italy, all that shit. All right, but Europe is so traditionally installed into the earth; it will always be a rich place. Just because of the white culture that's theirs. You know what I mean? That's theirs. They will never let that fall. No matter how many problems they have within, that will never fall. Well, I wasn't going that deep. I, 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 I'm I was going keep, that deep. I, I, was, I was keeping it in there. That's why, <laughs> the, the that's why, of- that's why our paychecks still pay England. They will never FICA all that. We still pay them. Yeah. Every that, person. Her debt will never go away. Our social security number is a form of currency to them. We all of a value to them. Like That's why they charge you to put you in the ground when you're dead. They're good. you for the last piece. They're good, man. They, they will never have any issues. And the world know that. No, man. What I was going to say, though, man, is in Germany, they didn't pay for anything, man. Mm. Nothing. No, They didn't pay for schooling. They didn't pay for health care. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that was required of you, work. Get up and go to work. Sound good. Sound good when you got another country paying the bill. Man. <laughs> it was something I had heard this morning. I'm full of shit. That I wanted to uh, I want to ask y'all. Did y'all hear about the uh the shit with uh Mr. Potato Head? Oh yeah, that's stupid gen- uh, What? They're trying to make it more it's- uh, but there is a, there is a Mrs. Potato Head. They want to drop the Mr. There's always the been a Miss. Head. There's always been a, a Miss Potato yeah. Head. There's been a boy and a little girl. But now they're just gonna make it Potato Head. Mm-hmm. And it was Fox that was with, talking about. Now they finally starting to make it more gen- boy stuff in gender inclusive. So they're gonna have like with Miss Potato is gonna have girl parts and boy parts. Even if it got the dude on the front. Uh, they trying to make it to where they have girl parts. I always boy thought parts. I got always, the girl on the front. I always thought parts, it came parts. with girl and boy parts because the little the, the red separate. the red lips in that boy in the in Mr. Potato Head was Wait. questionable. Well, it was always the like red, red around the around, nah, around man. up under the mustache. That was questionable, bro. <laughs> up under the mustache. No, nah, we ain't fuck with that. I was gonna get in trouble. <laughs> we don't even fuck with that part, bro. <laughs> we don't even fuck with them red lips, bro. Uh, man, <laughs> we ain't fuck with the red lips, bro. He was like, nah, that, that went in the trash with the box. Uh, <laughs> fuck yeah, with yeah, I'm like, man, seriously. First of all, what grown ass person? And then you store the shit in his ass. You stored all the eyes. Well, now you thinking about that. Back, back then, they wasn't stored, thinking about that. Stored all the tongues. Where are we? Where are you at? What? <laughs> What? All the, all the eyes, the hands, the tongues, the eye, 
all the feats, all that go in a little apartment in his ass. But back back then, uh, <laughs> back then when you was a kid, you was not thinking about that, man. At all, you was not thinking about that at all. Hey, <laughs> like, on, on on the potato, Mr. That's potato something that you head, think about as an adult. <laughs> no, no, no. On the Mr. Potato Head, I wasn't. Honestly, I wasn't. But on the Barbies, I was. <laughs> Hey man, hold on. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys, know you want to say about what's going on with Barbies on, back man. in the day? Hey, my yeah. sister had these Barbies, bro. Y'all just had me think about some shit, man. Uh, this is off the fucking wall, man. As a kid, I used to love watching cartoons. My little brother watched cartoons, man. He grew up, man. Look, it was times, man. I swear to God, man. And I, this ain't something that I just grew up like, like I believe in aliens. I can mm-hmm. tell you right now, but you see how I got serious, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it ain't like too. it ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? This is just some shit that I just thought I noticed and I lived my life, right? So as I'm watching cartoons, different cartoons, let's say I'm watching Fred Flintstone. And then come the weekend, I watch I don't know, some other cartoon, man. Right? And I'm sitting there watching, like, damn, that was the same shit that was on Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Meaning what they did and how they did it and mm-hmm. all that shit. It was like, no, no, it wasn't. Just live my life. I was on YouTube the other day, man, and I'd be damned if it didn't show two different, completely different movies with the same movement. You know, different characters, different uh, uh, storylines and all this, but they're doing the exact same movements. And it came to my mind, like, man, this is Hollywood. I got to my grown man thinking, this mm-hmm. is Hollywood. They use cinematic animation, you know, that someone created and that's getting royalties for. And he sold it to this person. And then someone else drew something and wanted to use it. They sold it to this person. I'm like, I damn you sneaky motherfuckers. Y'all done ruined my childhood, man. Man. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Minnie Mouse was doing the same damn dance as, as fucking. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's crazy, dog. Yeah, it was always the same shit. They just switched I'm, it. I just want to know what grown ass adult get- decided to try to make a fucking problem with it. Like, you know, that's, that's adult trying to have a problem. Well, what fucking kid is going to be like, I don't feel like that this toy is gender inclusive. Don't play with the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't play with it. No, it's just, it's just, the, it's adults trying to make things complicated. Like everybody always do. Don't make things complicated. It is what it is. If you don't want to play with Mr. Potato Head, you want to play with a girl, get Mr. Potato Why does it have to be a missus? Why can't it be a mister and, and wear a hat and pearl earrings? Because it don't. Either you want to buy it or you don't. <laughs> like. Mm. Exactly. That shit crazy. You don't right? want it, don't buy it. I just think you should change it. Then Hasbro came back trying to please both sides. They were like, they were like, we're calling it Potato Head, but they're still going to have their gender designations. It's still going to be a Mister and it's still going to be a Mrs. We're just dropping the uh, Mister and Mrs. off the box and just calling it Potato Head. You know what, bro? <laughs> I'm glad my kids are grown, man. So they gonna take Mrs. Mrs. Pac Man, Pac Man. Bro, I, I have no idea because if you take, I don't call it Pac Man. If, 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 if you take, Pac-Man. if you take the bow off hey. Mrs. Pa- off Mrs. Pac Man, she's Pac Man. Like, yeah. <laughs> congratulations to my son, J. Ron, bro. You you ain't here. Go ahead and say the news. I heard. Oh man, hold on. What'd you hear? Uh, what uh, uh what's the name posted on what's the name? See, I don't be knowing nothing about these posts, man. Yeah, I ain't finna say a business. Oh. Man. So go ahead and say what Hold you want to say. Man. Nah, yeah, I'm, <laughs> it might be some old news out there. No, nah, apparently uh, he graduated early. Yeah. Yeah. That's the news. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, he got on his job, man. He did his thing, man. Did all his work, graduated early, man. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up, man. I love that little nigga, man. It's from high school? Yeah. Or college? High, high school. school. Okay. Say he finna go in the Navy. Yeah. What's up, man? We on some boats. <laughs> Good for him, man. Good for him. For real. 
I kind of wish I would have joined the military when I was younger. Oh, they ain't need you in that tree. Why Nobody not? need you and all hey, your ideas. I'd probably like, been the oh best soldier in like, that motherfucker. You know what? During that time, it was a good thing for black men. <laughs> it was an opportunity, man. I probably could have been all right in the military. Did 10 years. At 17, I would have been out 27. You'd have came in and been like, Man. I'm here to resign. They'd be like, no, no, no. We're, we're good. We're good, Rodrigo. <laughs> Time fly, bro. Go back you, to society. You'd be surprised. Nah, I would have been a shoe in just because my people. Just nah, I'm, I almost joined too, though. I ain't going to lie. It was one thing they said, like, if he would have just waited about half an hour before he said the shit. I'd have signed my name on the uh, the Air Force. Contract. That's why I said this. What did he say? This recruiter almost he got told me. me um, Cause you know I I had a kid when I was in high school, and they were like, if they came oh, to you your got, school, you your cafeteria, your kid. Huh, they come yeah. to your cafeteria. When they told me that shit, yeah. I said I'm good. You have y'all take it <clears> easy. But see, they 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 was like either get married or sign up with my kid. Yeah, yeah. fuck that. It's easy, man. You, could, you they don't tell you the details, man. But you could. Just left your kid with your grandmother, your, your mother. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Family member. Mm-hmm. But and and then after you finish all your training, Bank you training. got to you where you was at. You had them come because you. you have a child. You get a little extra Benefit. money. You're able to pay for an apartment off post, and you go get your kid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't tell you all that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, maybe, they, maybe I, I should have had like an old head or somebody already, or huh? somebody <laughs> that was there. I could have asked a question look, to. It's been a, look. It's beneficial to them. For you to sign over that piece of paper because you don't have to sign over your child. Oh, when you sign over your child, you ain't got no right, so you can't fight. You know? Yeah, hey, well, you so, can't do that. So man. W- what you do is you find a trusted family, member. and they ain't got to give you money because they be like, "Well, you sign over rights to your child. We ain't got to give you no funding for that." Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you said that, that show would mess it up, bro. Because I was show, I was all but in. <laughs> man, this this recruiter was on me. I was so all tough. but in. I was like. I was so close, but when he told me, I had to cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. That, that, that is mandatory. See, that was, I was cool. I had a low cut back then, yeah, so that, I is, was that cool. part is mandatory. That was the no exception. Man, y'all almost had me, bro. Hey, this y'all is, almost had me. I hope I can't. No, I can't do shit. You know what I did, man? What? I was finna get out the army, and. My ex-wife, I had knew that I was going to marry her, and my time was coming up to get out. And so I had asked her before I had proposed to her, I had asked her, I say, how would you like to go to Europe? You know, would you like to see Europe? At the time, we didn't have any kids together, but she had two girls. I say, I think it would be good for them kids to see Europe. And I proposed to her. She said, yeah, I say, uh, I'm going to re-enlist. And we, I'm going to take you all to Europe for a few years. And that's what I did. I re-enlist for Europe and took them to Italy for three years. They like it? I'm sure the kids did. She didn't do a uh, got in. Anyway. Let's Italy <laughs> nice, bro. She didn't do shit. She, for three years, she sat at home. When she came back to the States, she complained. Say, I didn't take her nowhere. <laughs> Motherfucker, <laughs> I grew up in Europe. You got a wrong. I'm working. See I spend most of my tower. time in the woods. <laughs> See the leaning tower. Get, man, look, the arm. Let me. The military sets it up so beautiful for you. You could spend under a hundred dollars, and they will take you to a different country. A, 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 one of the places he just named, and you would spend the whole weekend out there, just as a, a, a tourist. They treat you good too, and you come back home. <laughs> the community, every like most right. of the spots, like the actual like the owners of the shops and the like the tour guides and all, they treat you good. You got to watch out for the criminals and shit, probably, but because you, you got scam, t- you got scammers everywhere, yeah, man. Yeah, but everybody else, man, man it, it's it's dope. Let me tell you, it was pathetic. You live in Italy for three years and you don't go see shit. We went on, uh, we went to see everything damn near in two days on that one tour with the church <laughs> with Mama. Yeah, she, they took us every. Week. I'm like, yo, I've been all man. 
that's, and that's just us as kids. As kids, we we were all over Europe, you know. It, it's but as an adult, come on, man. And this is what I I only said that to say. This is what I did, you know, to take them kids, you know, to 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 see something, to mm-hmm. be to be open their eyes. A yeah, bit. yeah. See what the world is about, man. You know, and it's sad. Not all people can embrace those things and, and take them for what they are, man. <laughs> Yeah, I always crazy. find the negative in the light, the dark in the light. Be looking for it. There's a dark like that shadow right there. Focus on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what's going to make me mad. All right, let's get into the uh, the last little topic of the day. What's the worst habit you have? Mine is fruit snacks. Fruit snacks or candy? Fruit snacks, anything gummy and candy. Oh, man, then you can't say fruit snacks, man. If it's fruit and it's a Any, snack. Anybody eat that eats candy, when you say fruit snack, they already got an image no, no, in their head. No, I mean fruit snacks. Gushers. Fruit flavor snacks. Gushers. You know, fruit snack is no, not no, a no. thing. I mean fruit snacks. Say gummy, I, gummy, gummy, sn- gummy snacks. Gummy. Okay, I'm going to say this one more time. I mean fruit snacks. <laughs> When I buy Gushers, that's a fruit snack. It says on the box, fruit snacks. <laughs> Artificial flavor fruit snacks. <laughs> that's what it says okay. on the box. Give, okay. give the name, bro. Because <laughs> people definitely <laughs> going to have when something buy, in their mind. When, yeah, I buy, you know when I buy Gushers, Gushers and fruit by the foot <laughs> and fruit roll-ups. Fruit flavor snacks. Look, those are when, fruit look, snacks. Watch they this. When you say Gushers, snacks. that's people the picture knew, right yeah. there. That's a picture. When you said fruit by the foot, that's, that's a, a gummy picture. bear with, with with the juice inside bursting out. No, it's out. not a gummy bear. It's well, a it's a diamond. It's a gummy. <laughs> look, look. It's, it's like a I gummy know. material with juices inside that burst out in. No homo, dog. I don't, I don't yeah. even like oh, pause. God. You don't want to describe it. Yeah, but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fruit snack. Hey, we, hold on, man. I mean, y'all. I don't get what y'all are trying to say on the box. No, it's just, on it's just on the you, box is yeah. okay. Drink. Technically, you're right. It says fruit snack, <laughs> but when you say fruit snack, people think of the actual fruit snack. Like it's a brand of candy called fruit, fruit snack. Yeah. No. I mean, fruit snack. Yeah, see, you don't even know what it is, dog. That's, I mean, that's what snack. I'm saying. Y'all talking about the Welch's? You got Welch's, fruit. you got the Snooks uh, but, brand, you got the Aldi but, brand, all, all and them, it's called fruit snacks. No, they are, the fruit snacks is always at the bottom. It's at the bottom, it says in black, fruit snacks. No, Welch's say Welch's well, it has, fruit No, it snacks. has big W. Well, I got a box upstairs. It has a big W Welch's on it, the box. and it that says fruit always snacks. said fruit snacks. All the boxes say fruit snacks. Or like a hey, store look, brand like Gusher Snooks, boxes say we, fruit snacks. We are in a politically correct time. Gusher's so. box says fruit snacks. All right, Drake. If you feel like it's a fruit snack, Gushers box snack. say fruit snacks. I understand. So, so the box is wrong. Look, huh? he, no, call nothing it, is wrong. Call it what you want. We know you're saying you're talking well, about the does, gushers. Whatever you feel. If the box says fruit snacks, is it not a fruit? If snack? If you feel like it's a fruit snack, it's a fruit. No, snack. No, the box feels like it's a fruit he's snack. Eating, he's eating fruit snack gushers. Okay, fruit snack. They're gushers. gusher fruit snacks. Yeah. Okay. They're your fruit snacks. Gushers snack. fruit snacks. You gushers. feel like it, so it is. There, he feels it, so so it so it must be. It's the gushers. Yeah, it's a fruit snack. Gushers, fruit yeah. roll ups, and fruit by the foot. All fruit snacks. Yes, yeah. correct. <laughs> okay. The fruit snacks. They're gushers. Yeah. Fruit snacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why y'all being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> it is a fruit snack. <laughs> I mean, y'all can be sarcastic uh, all you want. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how y'all feel about it? Now, nah, this is old, but I just, it's been brought to my attention. It was brought, I, was, I forgot what I was looking at, but did y'all hear about the lady? She's like the head of a chapter in the uh, the NAACP, the white woman she, that, she identi- got fired that identifies that so black. Have, the white woman. Go ahead, yeah. keep going. Keep how do you how, how do you feel just about that concept? Just that that by itself. Just well, her, a person her, her imitating the fact that she was black by wearing braids. That's fucked up. Now, if she was a white woman and acquired the job, hey, good job. But yeah, her imitating hey. being black, she, <laughs> but that 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 go that can go for a lot of things. Of mom always saying, "I feel like this, so I am this." That's that's what it was. 
She said, well, I feel like well, I'm black. I time, identify as black. At, I'm black. At that time, we wasn't on this shit. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. How do you feel about Listen, that? I ain't talking about her, okay, per let, se, just um, the concept of somebody doing that. The, well, now it, now they're probably accepted. In my eyes. He do what? Damn. I, he, he's, I, I assume you mean my generation, right? Probably <laughs> you definitely said that. They no. <laughs> pointed right here. He said, they are probably accepted. Just so y'all know, he pointed directly no, at I'm me. No, I'm saying they. I'm like, talking about the past. But you, when you, about, you look right at him and you said, no, because he's finna talk. He's finna talk. And I was like, okay, it could all be a coincidence. No, no, no. He's finna talk And I was like Let me say this real quick Then go uh, That's see, how that was That's what I'm saying It all could be a coincidence It's just the way It, yeah, way it came yeah, off It looked like it was, he, was, no, he was talking was not, directly to him He's not the gener- His generation is the one That don't like the gay You know what I mean The one that loves You ain't gotta be gay Just, just saying that you something else it's, it's, No no I'm just talking about That's that's who pushed the movement the most Was the transgender yeah. uh, gay Like, Did you hear that Dave Chappelle joke The one where he did about being Chinese He said the transgenders be mad at me about all the jokes that I have. I think I have. I said I don't hate him. He said I just think the concept of what you own is funny as hell. And he was like, just think about it. Me being a big black dude I'm going to China. So yeah, I'm if, Chinese. If, 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 oh, if I start yeah, saying yeah. That, I'm, that I'm Chinese and I start hold my eyes, making a face like this, he said, and they like, hey, you stop making that face. He like. What? <laughs> he's like, uh, he's like, this is how I feel inside. <laughs> Yo, no, that's fucked up. Oh, man. He was like. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If that shit was to happen now, what was it? What's her name? What was her name? But she had braids, everything. She used to wear, tan, she used to get tan, mm-hmm. get her skin. Up. But this happened so long. It was like five years, five, six years ago. That's what I'm saying. I was just reading about it. And I just started thinking about the concept, like, oh, excuse me. I just started thinking about the concept, like, man, this mm. shit has been in the works for a long time. Look, man, it, it, it. Nah, they didn't accept that shit. Look. They they kicked nah, her they out. Mad. They day. eventually accepted Look. it. No, she, she up, didn't. They didn't accept no, her back. Coming up, it, in, in, coming up as a kid, man, in some I neighborhoods, you would find that, that, that one white family. She, she had to go to court for that. Check me out. You find that one white family that actually grew up in the hood. And the white kids in that family eventually start to identify as as, being black. Yeah, as being black. Just, just, I'm going to say characteristically. Just because they, everything they do, everything they know is African American. How they move, how they talk. You know what I'm saying? So who's to say that's not the background she came from? And just she got to a point of prestige to where it came out into into the foresight and she tried to defend it, which I, she should have kept her fucking mouth shut. You know, because here it is today, people still laugh and make joke of it. This white woman running run around talking about she black. This is how I feel inside. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. And, and for the record, I'm not. Def- I am not defending her. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm giving a point of view on, you know, a different perspective, mm. a way of looking. Yeah. You okay. Know? I don't know, but. Oh, man. Hey. You sound like you riding in Reggie, hey, bro. bro. I'm, oh, I, 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 <laughs> hey, I am multicultural, bro. <laughs> I, at one time, I spoke German fluently. <laughs> oh, yeah, I ain't never answered the question, though. What's that? What's your worst habit? Mine's fruit snacks. Yes, Gusher, fruit snacks. Uh, they are fruit My snacks. worst habit. Yeah. No limitation? Uh, are we a censored radio I mean, station? For, no, no, I mean, it's for because... I no longer do it, as but it's still my worst go. habit. As far as you want to go. All right, shit, smoking cigarettes, bro. Oh, I thought you should say jacking off. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. Let's rewind this. <laughs> so, hey, look, look. Apparently, this thought started from when I said, I no longer do this. <laughs> he just knew what you was going to say. Yeah, he bro, knew he had it in his mind. He said, I don't know. What the Talker, fuck? What the fuck you say? <laughs> Damn it! 
Hell no. <laughs> hey, I don't even want to ask where that thought came from. <laughs> <laughs> He was building up for something like to that. I was like, what was he going to say? No limit? I'm like, yo, what is he going to say? Well, I was saying, you know, past uh, something I don't do, past present, you know what I'm saying? Hey, when you say no limit, I'm thinking, oh, damn, bug finna get into this. <laughs> Some shit. Eating butt? What? <laughs> what you got a bad habit? Uh, I thought you was gonna oh, take it, shit. take it there. I was like, Hell okay, no. all right, we make good radio right now. Uh, all right, nah, Ooh. definitely cigarettes, man. Putting them motherfuckers down, bro. Oh lord. Okay. Hey, that's a blessing. That's understandable. What you got, Reggie? Uh. My very worst habit. Uh, probably that I don't that uh, my, me and sodas. Sodas? Yeah, bro. I I, I drink a lot of sodas too. Yeah, I, your yeah. habit hey, probably hey, be you bad. need you need name brand. Yeah, bro, I, I be on, <laughs> that hurts your money and your body. I be on soda. <laughs> and if I if I can't go with uh, and if I can't he go with soda, just his taste buds, bro. <laughs> Drink them all. <laughs> UBI a little bit and in if one I can't, department. If I can't go with sodas, I'd probably be sometimes I I can be uh classified as overly competitive. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Hey, you know what? <laughs> oh my god. I do not believe there is a such thing as being overly competitive. Thank you, brother. Oh my God! Hey, no, no, because oh listen, God. listen. Here's why. Here, okay, this is the only reason why. Let me hear this. When you're being competitive, okay, and I'm, it's in a broad sense. We we throw every sport, everything you do, mm-hmm. you know, to be competitive. Okay, mm-hmm. when you're being competitive, what is your objective? To win. To win. So there's no limitation. I mean, I, this this to alle- alleviate the long speech. There is no limitation to anything to what you're gonna do to win outside of cheating. No, no, no limitation, huh? Yeah, that's the so, limit. No matter no. Got the tan, yeah, yeah, did yeah, a hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No matter, no matter, no matter the age, huh? You say age, yeah. If you if if you if it's in here, look, I'm 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 getting real. If if it's in here with you to do that, then yeah, by all means. No, no. What I'm saying is, what about a kid, a adult getting too rowdy in a kid event? Come on, man. Now you you going into morality. <laughs> you going into morality. <laughs> that's you know, that's hey, what but, we hey, say. But, but listen, listen, listen. That's what we listen. Talking about. No, 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 but look, 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 it, look, 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 that, look, hey, here's what I, this is what I can, as a parent, hey, as a parent, as a parent, I can't judge how anybody teaches, mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying, because I have def- different teaching <laughs> tactics. Understandable, everybody does. So, <laughs> I love this one. The day me and you stood out there and we made Tyrell hit that first shot to the point he crying and boo-hooing. Oh, uh, yeah. And I, as the father, he wasn't going nowhere. I don't <laughs> know if you knew it. He wasn't going nowhere. He was going to stand there and cry. I don't give a fuck. I didn't, I, I didn't feel like whooping his ass that day. You know what I'm saying? So he was going to stand there and cry, but he was going to shoot that damn ball. Mm-hmm. And when he shot that motherfucker and, and that look on his face, I knew my job was done that day. But yeah, man, I don't fuck that. Yeah. But that's not what I'm talking about, though. Like, okay, we talking about, he said a, a bad habit he has is sometimes he can be too competitive. I won't say a bad. It was not bad. I said some people would classify it as a bad. I don't think it's a bad. That's why I didn't name it. It's 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 
it's a good and bad accolade. You're yeah. supposed to be competitive in life, but you have to control your competitiveness. Correct? Would you say yeah, that? There's, there's, I mean, there's a... There's a morality to being competitive. Exactly. Man. It's who, it, with who, the, with who the, like, like, okay, so if I'm going against a child that, that has, that, that, that has uh, autism, I'm not going to compete with him and say, oh, yeah, I beat him down. Hey, I blocked your shit, nigga. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You might not do that with that kid. I've always been the one to where. I don't show sympathy, but I I I I so, will give a little leeway. So was you one of them kids that always looked at your coach funny when he said, "Act like you've been there." Uh. Uh-uh. All right. So you will uh-uh. understand what I was what I mean by there's a time and a place to be competitive. You when know, I, under, I understand okay, that's okay. what I did. I did. Okay. I, I, okay, okay. You know, I'm just, I'm just trying. You know, I have my own way of, of feeling about it, man. It's, I don't know. All right. Oh yeah, that was funny. <laughs> 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 nah, what was funny was the day he. What he talking about? Yeah. <laughs> but but look. In in hindsight. Cause he did say, you said, I did it. I told him, I told him, I was like, bro, I told you I'm trying to change. And then got right out at the game this last weekend. It was going off about the refs. Whoa, whoa, and whoa, the, whoa, 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 And Matthew did, you was so mad. And I was sitting there like, I ain't saying what, I was just looking hey, like. I said something uh-huh. to the ref? You said some people, you just t- talking out loud. It wasn't, it wasn't to the ref, it was exactly. just out loud. Exactly. It was just out loud. I didn't say, I didn't approach the ref. I, I said after something the game, after what the I, game. What, after the game, what I say to the ref? Did you say anything to the ref? I said, good game, ref. Mm-hmm. I told him, good game. Yeah, you, you spent the, you were show, boy. You was, after the game, I told him, good game, man. bro. Them you know two refs, hey. boy, they were so damn mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there like You know what man Woo I, I, I told him Good game Man look I told you I'm trying to change man I'm one, I'm one of them type of people man I, I'm vocal I'm vocal Especially if If I'm upset about something If I don't If it doesn't come out these lips It's gonna fuck with me You, you know what I'm saying it's I got gonna I got, fuck with I got me. to hear the words With my ears <laughs> So it, So it, In that heat of the moment I may not be talking to you but I may be getting out what I need to say. That was not a travel. Or that was a travel. That was a foul. Bruh. Doesn't mean I'm talking. I'm not talking like, man, to you, what bro. are y'all looking at? Like, I don't understand. But, like, Trick be getting mad. I, mean, I never even said nothing to the ref during the game. Like, he actually said something to me. You look at them, bro. He said something you to me. You look at them. Yeah. You look right I, at them. I understand him, man. I don't be saying then, nothing, though. I, I quit really this year really saying anything to the ref. If I got something to say, I make sure to look and talk directly to Dreek. I'll be like, man, you see this bullshit or this and this and I try my hardest not to say shit to the ref. Now, sometimes Dreek might be standing by the ref, but I don't be talking to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, the, the ref will be coming, but I'll be in the middle of talking to him. Like when you was at half court, Dreek, cause Dreek, he got a wide base when he be coaching. He'll be at one end down here, right by the ref. He'll be at half court. So I might be talking, and I'm going to be talking at him, and he sometimes be talking back, then the ref come up, then I guess get offended by what I'm saying, even though I won't even say nothing offended. He looked back at me and said some shit. To try to get under my skin. You know what I'm saying? And was successful. Oh, you talking about when I was coaching? Yeah, and he was okay. successful. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say that shit. I was sitting down, bro. I was sitting down. He <laughs> he was talking to Drink and then turned and looked at me and said something to Drink about me. I'm like, what the fuck you talking about me for? They I'm sitting by the team. going to tell, say over to me like, he ain't a coach. What the fuck? And I was like, like, I'm only gonna talk to you. He ain't no coach. I said, bro, I'm I'm taking stats. I said, I said, man, I'm not even talking to you, bro. 
<laughs> so, so you finna get you might as well. Yeah, after, after the up. game, bro, I was just like, telling him. I said, man, I said, man, you see me sitting. With, all I was telling him, you see me sitting with my team. Don't do that. If right. you want to just talk to hey. him, y'all was standing together away from us. He looked over to me Reggie, to that's say not, that shit. That's not how you approach him, bro. Man, is we talking about a Caucasian man? Oh my god! Reggie hopped over there, got up in his face. Like, no, he was walking at me. Corona. No, he was walking at me. No, he tried to walk by you. No, he was walking to toward, He was walking towards me. Like <laughs> I'm on the bench, right? He, he, I'm on the bench, but he's over on the other side. He's coming towards the this middle. Is after the game. I'm, yeah, he coming towards the middle where I'm at, trying to go back to the chairs to switch his shoes and shit. I'm in between the two. He's but, coming towards me, and I'm trying to talk to him. And as no, I'm coming, you cut he got off. his hands up, and he's talking about then try to like walk through me and see. A younger me, see, I'm, I'm almost 30 now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm almost hey, 30. A that, younger me hey, ought to knock his ass that down. That's been a problem with me. I, that's what I'm saying? Man. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know how you let him keep walking, but he's... Hey, I had to the, move. Sake, I pushed for the him sake back. Of, for the sake of the organization. I pushed him I, back. For the sake of the organization. <laughs> yeah, I, let, I, I, I was At like, let point, me just... Come. He was going to have to hear what the fuck I had to leave. I was like, Rashad, get your stuff. Come on. I was like, come on. We got to go. I'm about to snap. That would We got to go. That would have been our last game with that organization thing. I don't even want to say that. And then what make it worse yeah. is this is the same gym that the last time we was there, they let this dude completely trample one of our dudes and almost kick him in the head and didn't even call as so much as a foul. Didn't call a foul. Didn't take the dude out the game. Didn't call a t- no. Knock the dude up. Pushed him down. One going from just pushed him down and almost kicked him in the head while he was on the ground and they just let everything slide. There's no relevancy. But we still beat their ass, though. Yeah, that yeah, okay. game, we definitely beat I was, I was their like, ass. yo, <laughs> run the score up. Beat they ass. We beat them by like 40. Yeah, it, it was ugly. Uh, we, we was in the later rounds of, of the season, man. The, the ones that mean some shit. And it was an important game we was playing. It was a away game. And I was kind of showing my ass. I, w- I wasn't no shooter. I was always a rebounder and a dunker. And so I was kind of showing my ass this game. It was early in the game, man. Right? And I start to fuck up, make little simple mistakes. So as I'm running back down to play some defense, I'm talking to myself. And this is what I said. Get your head in the game. <laughs> the ref thought you was talking to him. He tacked me and kicked me out the game. You must have said it very intense. <laughs> yeah, 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 because I made a, a, a stupid mistake. Get your head in the game, nigga. <laughs> and the, the coaches knew I was I was always one to be real ecstatic, real excited. Hey, you you, you know was robbing. Yeah. Yeah, you was robbing. And man, it was, it's one of them plays that fucked me up. I was mad, but I was kind of, what? How you? Are you going to toss me out the game? I get a tech for Talk to getting myself. on myself. That happened in the NBA. Who was that 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 happened with? Oh, no, it was uh, it happened with Draymond. Draymond got to tell you, he was talking to James Wiseman, and the ref thought he was talking to him, and he teched him. No, I see one where dude was. He was, he was like, explaining something. He was like, how did I get that? And then dude was like, he was like, what? <laughs> he was like, I was, what was that? Was that, was it That's Cousins? Terrible. That's terrible. These refs be trying to make the game about themselves at well, times. Well, yeah, that, that, that's what it means. And be. then, Bug, then, what made it even worse, I think what also made me mad, was the fact of how blatantly bad they was and how they was trying to cheat us in the game. Like, how we talking about that travel with him? You want to talk about uh, Giannis was coming to the basket. This kid, he caught the ball and ran three steps to the right. We was trying to press. He caught the ball, just ran three steps, never even dribbled, just ran three steps right to the right. Right to the right. And the ref yeah. is standing no more than you know, most, where I am to that thing right there these refs, and let it slide. Most of these refs like the underdog, man. Well, well. Yeah, you you, it, you know what I'm saying, bro. It depends. Well, some of them are fans of some of these yeah, big teams, well, that's, too. That's what I'm saying. Like, some of them, some of them they know these kids. So mm-hmm. they they have expectation for certain kids, and they don't. They be fans. When there. they when they do something, they be like, "Nah, I don't call it on him. I ain't gonna foul him out." He wouldn't do that, so I ain't gonna call it this time. Like I literally had a ref tell me that one time. Like, nah, he don't do that all the time. <laughs> I'm like, like what? what do that got to do with anything? <laughs> That's got, fucked up, man. What, what they gotta do with what hey, just happened? You know what, man? <laughs> what? That's a problem, man. <laughs> 
That's a problem, right? Hey. Hey, I don't trip off it because you know why I don't trip off it because is 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 AAU, not AAU. It's select basketball, and that that's a rec league. There was no there's no championship that controls how our kids think. It's me and Reggie's job to make sure our kids know like this is not the end of life. It's seventh, sixth grade. You know what I mean? They gonna have eighth grade. They ain't even in high school yet. Where some decisions they make may well, they can make decisions now that can affect the rest of their life. But like high school, you get really deep into minor little decisions you make can affect the rest of your life. You know what I mean? So now we at we at a deeper magnifying glass in high school. Now, now it's like okay, okay, refs. The tournaments we gonna get be getting in. Hey refs, y'all can't be. Nah, cause I got uh, North Carolina State over there, Mizzou over there. Man, my my boys got uh, uh, scouts out here looking, and you you doing them kind of wrong. I might get into a fist fight with one of them, motherfuckers. but you would try not to because you don't want to embarrass your kids. Like, oh, that's what kind of coach she got. You know what I mean? So you gotta hold your composure. But it's some refs out here that try to be affect the whole game. Yeah, they, they try to be superstars in the game. Uh, you know, I'm glad my mama ain't raised no punk, man. That's all I'm saying, man. Yeah, I'm saying that. <laughs> shit, bro. Real I, shit, bro. We got six minutes, man. We got six minutes. So let's uh, let's get some last words in here. Who wanna go first? Power to the people. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I live for the people because I die for the people. I die for the people because I love the people. What you got to say, bud? Uh, need a woman, man. I'm tired of sleeping <laughs> with my pistol. <laughs> I am. Hey, look, you ain't here. A revolutionary. <laughs> look. I'm tired of sleeping with my pistol, man. I need I heard all of it. <laughs> Bro, I didn't expect none of this shit. I <laughs> am <laughs> a revolutionary. Oh, my God. That's why he thought she was going to say jack it off. <laughs> he, thought, he knew that was going to come out your mouth. That shit was Are fun. you connecting the stuff in my head now? <laughs> I'm like, dang, I did say something about this nigga need a woman bad. He said it jack off vibes in my head and shit. Uh, he talking Dream, about if y'all would have just saw Dream Fade, he like, you said, hey. he better, you talking about jacking off, right? <laughs> but I'm like, no, no, I'm not talking about that. Wait, what? He's like, not at all. That's not what I've been saying at all. Where the fuck that come from? <laughs> that wasn't even close to what I was gonna say. Rock out gonna say you cigarettes. See where it came from, y'all. Hey, he looking like no. I was gonna say cigarettes. What the hell? Is going now on? who sound like a genius in the final word? He like, he like, he like, what the hell is going on? Now who sound like the genius? Yes, you heard his final words. He need a girl. That's going right, right, right. <laughs> man, that's that's some bullshit, man. That's subliminal messaging, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I wish I could have taped that. Like Dree said, Bud. Fa- no, no, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say cigarettes, man. That's like the furthest thing you can say from jacking off is cigarettes. Hey, I was hyped. I was dead. Sick, hey, That's so far I'm, away. Look, I'm, I'm proud of this shit, man. I, that is so far away from cigarettes. <laughs> I can't breathe. He said, he said jack it uh, off, right? No, no. Oh my god. Cigarettes, Rocky. Cigarettes. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh man. I wish I could have got the, the facial expressions of both of them. Cause Drake knew he had it right. <laughs> <laughs> and Bugs sitting over here like 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 Mr. Turner. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, that ain't it. I ain't taking no pussies from the tent. From the tent. Hey. Oh, man, I can't breathe. Oh, oh man. <laughs> no, stupid, man. Cigarette. <laughs> That's so far away. <laughs> You weren't even remotely you close. It. You did it with this last word. Uh, I need a girl. 
You and then, right and then he come back to my house. No, who's the chief? <laughs> and he threw his hands up and everything. <laughs> he won. And Dream he won with the AC. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I'm thinking. Eureka! <laughs> I got it. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Cigarettes, Rocky. Nah. Cigarettes. Nah, nah, nigga. <laughs> oh, man. I need to, we need to put that as a, a sound. As a sound by our show. Drink up like, what do y'all think about that? And I just hit the button. Cigarettes, Rocky. Cigarettes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he gonna be thinking about that tomorrow. He gonna be putting some shit together. What the truck gonna be? So like, they're like James, what, what, what's the matter? He's like, no, nah, this is cigarettes. Cigarettes. <laughs> worst heaven. Worst heaven. Worst heaven. Worst heaven. <laughs> That's he gonna, not what y'all said. He's gonna, like, he gonna like boss James over there has thoroughly laughing about cigarettes. You might need to talk to him. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> James, do James, what about the cigarettes? Do your people still tune into the show? <sighs> I don't know. Mm, okay. I don't know. If you tell me, I don't know. Oh, man. Hey, swear. Hey. hey, what if somebody come up to you yelling at tomorrow? <laughs> at work, you go fuck you up. Cigarettes. I swear, I swear that's going to be the highlight of your motherfucking day. Oh, man. You got to post it. Hey, but hey, you got to post it. If somebody walk up to you tomorrow and say that, you have to post it. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> Drink. I knew it. Hey man, you know what? Oh, oh, no. you weak. <laughs> <laughs> That's the third fucking time you did that today. <laughs> Ninety nine floors. Did right back to back down. Yo, you on a fucking road. <laughs> Oh my god! That nigga's gonna get into something and said, "Y'all don't deserve that shit." <laughs> I was gonna drop some knowledge. <laughs> Cigarettes don't fuck me up. <laughs> Y'all don't deserve that shit. Oh, All right, man. We got we got. Literally a minute left of the show, man. I ain't got no last words, man. We appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll see y'all next week. Thanks for tuning in to the greatest show, The Spillover. Yours truly, Drink Lockhead. Is Reggie? <laughs> what the fuck is going on today, bro? Hey, this big bro. Cigarettes, man. Cigarettes. <laughs> That's what he was waiting. Ooh, for. you like a man? That's what he was waiting for. Oh, he was waiting to book say that so he could say cigarette. He was like, "Fuck my name. I gotta get this cigarette. Yeah, I gotta get it out one more time." <laughs> Fuck I should have said, you should have said, drink like head. Jack and all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Then he put that, I got you finger up. That's, that was the key. <laughs> Jack and all. <laughs> all right, man. We appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Oh, my chest. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh shit, my chest.